Okay, here's another quick tip. If you're just putting a picture on your web page or maybe some kind of a diagram, um, maybe some kind of a study aid, what I want to do is I want to import a picture and I'm going to add what I call an invisible button, which I think will make sense here in a minute. So I have my picture of my kids here and on another layer I'm just going to grab a paintbrush and I'm going to be kind of liberal with this pick something that, you know, a color that I can really keep my eye on here, and I'm going to paint over my daughter here. Okay. This should make sense here in a minute. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that piece, convert that to a symbol as a button, and I'm going to call this Emily. Alright, now what I want to do here is go in here and add a keyframe for each of these areas and then I'm going to go and delete these pieces. Now, if I was to look at the picture, it looks normal. However, when I move my mouse over Emily, you see it becomes a button. Alright, so what I can do here is I can add something such as when somebody moves their mouse over this, I might have a line come up and, you know, a text balloon or something, and obviously that's not probably the best choice of colors, but um, I can add some text here like, ooh, that's a little large, like, hi, I'm Emily. And then probably be a good idea to choose a different color, such as black. Alright, so now this is all part of my over button. If I go to my up, it's nothing. If I go to down, it's nothing. So what I can do when I test this now, I can move my mouse over and it says, hi, I'm Emily. Alright, anything that's not Emily is doesn't say anything. I can do the same for each of these kids. Now I can also set this where when I click, it says something, you know, maybe you have a little audio clip of your kids or your animal or your dog or whatever. Um, I've also used this example to create um, an animation, like a heart diagram. And when you move your mouse over the left ventricle, it says left ventricle. When you move it over the right ventricle or the, you know, aorta or whatever, it'll say what it is. And when you click it, it'll actually, you know, explain explain that piece of the heart or you can have it you know do a quiz you know it comes up with this is the you know whatever part of the heart and when they click it it says what the actual piece is so you can quiz yourself anyway um, I hope that's a helpful little tip and um, I really enjoy this one